All right, one of my favorite lower body exercise is a goblet squat. I love that exercise because a goblet squat, when you're holding the dumbbell up, forces you to learn the proper form of squatting, and it almost forces you to have the right position. It anchors you down and makes you do the squat in the correct way. Um, Ty, one of our up and coming WWE superstars here, is gonna help us out. He's gonna grab his dumbbell and a goblet. Now, this forces him, by keeping the dumbbell in this position, it forces him to keep his chest up and his back flat, and it's gonna help create stability. Eventually, he'll be able to move onto a barbell press, but he'll have the form down from this, and he'll always have that. And continuing to do goblet squats, even after you've learned to do barbell squats, is ideal because this constantly keeps reinforcing that proper form. So what you're gonna do is he's gonna start with a little wider than a shoulder width stance and he's gonna screw his feet into the floor. And by that, what I mean is he's gonna think about trying to turn his hip in the socket and rotating it out. That forces him to engage his glutes, which is the biggest thing that most people don't do. The second thing he's gonna do is he's gonna start the motion in the squat by engaging his hips first. He's gonna drive backwards with his hips and then start to squat down. He drives his knees out to the side, elbows go inside the knees, he drops down into the squat, keeps his back flat and his chest up, and then drives back up to the top position, driving through his glutes and his hamstrings. This is a proper squat. Go ahead and do a set of eight for me. You'll notice he starts that motion with a hip drive, keeps his back flat, his chest up, drives in, and when he gets to the bottom, what he's doing is constantly thinking about screwing his feet in and turning those knees out to the side. At six, really working on getting in the bottom, pushing those knees out, getting that groin to open up, getting that stretch. Awesome, great, put it down for a second, shake it out, we'll get a second set in. So this is the best way to learn how to squat, it really is. Um, what I'm gonna show you now is an advanced version of that, which is a one and a half goblet squat. And what he's gonna do is the same motion, except now he's gonna go down, when he gets to the bottom position, he's gonna come halfway up, drop back into the bottom position, and then come back all the way to the top. It's a, it's a one and a half rep. What it does is it really just increases the amount of time under tension, which is gonna increase the amount of work that the muscle does. You'll really feel a difference in, in how hard this works. So if you're training at home and you don't have a lot of heavy weight, you're training with a dumbbell, you can increase the intensity without having to add a bunch of weight or go buy a huge dumbbell. You can just increase that intensity by adding um, one and a half to this workout. Go ahead and grab this. We'll do a set of 12. So each time you go down, halfway up, down, all the way up, that's one rep, all right? Again, same thing, screw the feet into the ground, engage those glutes, kick the hips out in the back, drop it down, awesome, inside, push those knees out, and back up, perfect. That's perfect form, you got those knees out, driving up to the top. Perfect. You can really see as he comes up, he fires the motion with his glutes and drives his hip forward into the motion. So it's a lot of glute and hamstring. This really takes the pressure off your knees. And it, it, it's working your quads, your hamstrings, your glutes. But what it does is it works everything in such a uh, synergistic fashion that you really start to lose knee pain. You start to lose low back pain because it's working the entire unit as opposed to individual pieces of, of muscle. Come on, two more. Keep that form, keep that low back flat, chest up, and drive it up. Awesome. That's the set, man. Those are rough. Again, that's the one and a half with the goblet squat. Best way to learn how to squat, best way to continue to learn and make sure that you're squatting properly at all the time. Thanks a lot, man.